on screen. Delineate is an arts program of small grants that seeks to enrich the creative initiatives of the Don't Just My Ability campaign to celebrate International Day of People with Disability. In partnership with Accessible Arts, the program is designed to boost and foster arts and disability practice within New South Wales. Yeah, I'm Jerry Odua, actor and theatre operator at Beyond the Square. Dean Internet awarded seven grants to arts projects and programs across New South Wales. It is my pleasure to introduce you to these exciting programs. A workshop. With Cable Town Arts Centre, two groups explore theatre making in preparation for a public performance. This series of workshops is run by esteemed Australian actor and teacher Kevin Jackson. Doing the show, and now I hear about it here to talk about our dreams. I like these two. So let's work on two poems. Yeah, sure. The mystic Unity. Yeah, great. So it's lucky you can almost break it up into three sections here. Yeah. From Sydney Metro North is my SCI, a self portrait photographic project exploring the personal feelings and emotions of people living with a spinal cord injury. The photographers meet the public in an open form and exhibition of their work. Is that going to be in the right position? Two participants have cameras affixed to their wheelchairs and they focus on their subject. A female participant who's posing with a patterned shawl against a white screen. The idea of this is to learn photography, use the technology, but a portrait of yourselves. I've never been ever strong in my life, mentally, physically. Although the disabilities kind of, and the injuries slowed me up a little bit, I feel free. A heavy metal band have come together at Sears Base in Lismore to forge friendships, curate and record the original mental music. We are the last part. The band consists of a singer, drummer, guitarist and keyboard player. Adam Rex, musician mentor. It's really a vehicle for everybody to just be themselves through this common bond of heavier, rhythmic kind of music. Adam conducts the group. First time I've done it. It's an experience. Aboriginal Dungati, an artist, Mabel Ritchie, produces a series of artworks. Mabel's first solo exhibition, Many Bushes, takes place at Dungati Nagu Aboriginal Art Gallery, not far from where she grew up at the Burned Bridge Mission. Mabel and Ritchie's exhibition will be held here at the gallery, the Dungati Nagu Aboriginal Art Gallery in Kempsey. Most, most of the paintings are about plants that Mabel's mother had shown her and what she could do with some different flowers. Some plants, um, they put onions in and we um, seek out in the bush and they make it better. The core inspiration is a collaboration between bigger artist Carly Ramsey and Annie Franklin and two artists from Art in the Garage, Miriam Kidd and Graham Smith. The collaboration explores mutual points of inspiration, difference, and shared creative potential in visual arts media. The project will produce an exhibition of the collaborative works and recorded aspects of the process. Well, what we both have in common as artists is we love colour, don't we? And you just did her from your, yeah. from your imagination. Yeah, I do from imagination. Yeah. Pink from underneath coming through the roof. Yes. And, and when you paint, because Graham really enjoys painting wet into wet. Wow, how does that stand out? Breaking down a barriers, crossing the boundaries is an eight-week dance and theatre program with students from Newcastle School, which leads up to a multi-arts production. The students from junior, middle and senior school gain skills working alongside professional dance and, and theatre artists from Tantrum Theatre. We've been exploring the theme of space with these students. We've been exploring walking on the moon um, using fabric as well to create this idea of being in space. The middle group of Newcastle Junior School, those students are around seven, eight years old, and we're working on a jungle theme. We're also working with the idea of stillness and moving and walk away, an elephant would walk. Making Airwaves with the Wing Gap Foundation takes place at the Art Cafe in Rosebury, South Sydney. 
the project is about learning to make a radio show, exploring story and themes, to voice movement and improvisation. These newly learned technical skills are broadcast by the participants on local community radio on International Day of People with Disabilities. I like to be DJ. Hello, my name is Sean. I'm here to learn to speak on the radio. I want to do sound effects on the radio. Film reviewing on his radio. It's a movie about um, mask and it's a true story. We go like a said on the thing. It's a it's about a person right. with a disability. Don'tdismayability.com.au The logo for accessible arts. Music composer Scotty B.